Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jake Javarelli of Javarelli.com. Just a bunch of referral links. Making a video on the new Moon Tree wallet, which is for Ravencoin. As you can see in front of you here. Yeah. So, um, there's this thing called the Ravencoin Global Awards coming up this weekend. This, today is the uh, Thursday, the 27th of October, and it's going to happen on the 29th. I believe it's the 29th. It's just shortly before. It's the Saturday, so two days from now. And uh, they've got this cool little thing that they do pretty much every year called the Passing of the Torch. Now, it ended last year with me, and that was because not all the coin got transferred. And part of the problem is people don't necessarily know how to transfer assets on Ravencoin. It seems to be a little bit of a confusion for some. So I'm here to try to help you see that it's not really that complicated. Now, you will definitely need another address to which to send in. That address needs to be asset aware. That is a key term here. Asset aware, as you can see, I have a tiny amount of Ravencoin in this wallet. 9.94962 Ravencoin. And I've got three blocks of assets that were given to me by another couple of people, in particular Pandacoin, and a few here, Ravencoin Torch, and a whole lot of zombies. <laughs> the guy who gave me this will be proud. In any case, uh, I just want to show you that it's just as easy to send a single asset or many assets to someone else as it is to send Ravencoin. If you've sent Ravencoin from one wallet to another or paid somebody in Ravencoin, that's all you got to do here. You're just doing it with assets. Now, the reason I'm doing it with the Moontree app, as you can see, it's because the Moontree is, as far as I know, the first app, uh, phone app rather, to support the functionality of um, Ravencoin assets. And I, I believe it's some other things. I think there might be another one out there, but this is the one that I've been told is the most functionally useful. Now, sending an asset will cost some Ravencoin. So you will need to have Ravencoin in your Moon Tree wallet before you start trying to send anything. It's not expensive. It, it easily costs less than a Ravencoin. In fact, I think the last time I sent any Ravencoin from one place to another, uh, not Ravencoin, sorry, anytime I sent assets, in particular these assets, to the Moon Tree wallet itself, it cost me like maybe, um, what was it, 5% of a coin? So not complicated. All right, so I'm not gonna show you how to get the Moon Tree wallet. You'll need to do that on your own. The link will be in the description below. Setting up the wallet is super not complicated. It is just like just about every other wallet I've ever known. You know, create a password, download your 12-word um, secret key, keep that secret, keep that safe. And then transfer yourself some Raven coins so you have some, you know, gas, as it were, to facilitate the transfer. And then when somebody sends you a Raven Corn Torch, like they will if you participate with the event on Saturday, because that's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be sending the torch around to everybody. And the way that works is they have a million torches. And the first person, probably Blockchain John, will send those million torches, minus one, so he can keep... Uh, keep that those 999,999 raven coin torches will go to another person and that person will take one and send 999,998 ,999 torches to someone else and so on and so on and forth and that's how you pass the torch not super complicated but like you said you gotta do that part so sorry this just signed out on me I'm gonna go to the other screen here so you can't see my password and put my password back in. <laughs> Unlock that. Oh, I didn't type it right. My bad. Let's see if it let me do it this time. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I did it wrong the first time. You're right. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go over here and uh, grab me my address my Ravencoin aware address. Now remember, if you're sending from Moontree to Moontree wallet, it's going to be asset aware. 
just by default because that's what Moon Tree does. It's asset aware Ravencoin wallet. So of course, if you're going to send to someone who has another Moon Tree wallet, this will be really easy. Now, I don't have two Moon Tree wallets. I have a Zelcor wallet, which I'm not going to show you on the screen, and this Moon Tree wallet. So I'm going over to my Ravencoin asset aware address, grabbing a receive address, copying that address, going over here to the Ravencoin torch. I've got 15 here, and I am going to send. This was the original C3 Media Ravencoin torch to the address I'm pasting now. That is my, if you'd like to send me assets on my Ravencoin address, I would be happy to, to take them. It doesn't cost very much to send, and you can send me whatever you like, and don't mind at all. And remember, we're going to send all minus one. So I got 15 in here, I'm going to send 14. And I'm going to pick the standard transaction speed. <clears throat> and I'm not going to write a memo that you can. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, give me a break. That was not cool at all. Alrighty. Um, yes, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Fold. You can't already tell by the little uh, ad name up here at the top. Preview, not sending a memo. Amount, 14. This is gonna cost me 0. 0.05346 Raven. I have almost 10 Raven sitting in the wallet, so easily enough to send. Remember, one Raven is worth about three cents right now. Um, who knows, maybe someone's watching this in a year and a raven's worth $100. If it is, I'm sorry that it's so much more money. Send. And there we go. I have one raven coin torch left in my asset wallet. And the next person, that's actually just me, now has 14 raven coin torches in their asset aware wallet. I hope that was simple enough to understand. Sorry for the little error that came up, but um, it's not complicated. It's really very simple. Like I said, download and install. I, I don't know it works on iPhones yet, but I do know Android is supported for the Moontree wallet. If you go to your Android Play Store, you will see pretty quickly that Moontree wallet has this you know, little tree with the three balls, the green balls on the top. And then you can install that wallet on your phone. And, or tablet or whatever device you'd like. I think you can even technically install it on, on uh, Android, uh, not Android, Chrome tablets, Chrome Chromebooks. So do that, get your wallet, put a little bit of Ravencoin in there so you can send the torch on when it's your turn. Go watch Braveland. I will also put the link for Braveland. You'll need to download and install it if you want to participate. It's the only way you can do the Raven Torch. Believe me, they'll be sending it all over the place. We're going to try to send it around the world as many times as possible. So... Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you guys in Braveland on Saturday. Catch you on the flip side. Chat really out.